Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a bit different. It's a bit special. We are outside. We are going to enjoy the beautiful scenery that Earth University has to offer us. I have had a couple of requests along like the duration of my college lifestyle content creation period that people wanted to see the school as a whole because I mostly just showed my room and some farms here and there so today I'm going to be showing you the nuclear center where all the main buildings are and I hope you enjoyed this video if you do like it please like comment share and subscribe if you are new welcome to the channel if you are returning welcome back and if you really want to support this channel don't forget to press that big join button and become a member of the group gang 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 so right now i am currently standing at the resident area this is the girls resident area we do have one boy building which is the one behind the camera right now but i live in this resident building called laurel all the resident buildings are actually named after trees which is something very interesting uh i thought that was really interesting because the school is big on uh, reforestation so there's a lot of tree planting so like naming the buildings after like trees was unique so i live in laurel which is a type of a tree this is gavilan and over there is where esnai lives it's sura the building behind you is almendra so let me just show you real quick these buildings and we can move on to the other side of the school I don't know if you noticed but all the roofs of our school are painted in one color and this is for a specific purpose that when you see an aerial view of our university it's like a little maze it is so beautiful I'm gonna put a shot of the aerial view of the like the center of the school um, I think that's something that makes the school very unique so we have passageways we're going to I'm going to take it to one passageway right now so we have passageways that connect the different buildings because it rains a lot it's we're in the tropical humid climate so it rains a lot therefore we need to be under sh like we need to be sheltered in case you don't have your umbrella so good news is if it is raining and you don't have your umbrella you can maneuver along like the main important buildings of campus without getting wet and let's go see what these passages look like you got me putting my feelings on display Whoa. Put you in Fendi, Louis V bag Dripping in Gucci, watch your make up follow that Clean, clean, good and good So yeah, this is the first part of academic block one so we have three academic blocks there's academic block one two and three and this one that I'm, I'm showing you right now is academic block one and it starts off with the investigation office or unit and then i'll be taking you to the classes and the science laboratory which is the entomology lab and also the plant pathology lab we just call it the sciences lab which is right behind you currently but then we're gonna go there and yeah let's go so for for academic block one we have two classrooms fun fact about f university's classes is that the maximum number of students that we can have in a class is 28 we are never more than 30 which facilitates the school to manage the practicals because 60 percent of our learning program is practical and then 40 percent is theory so we do come to these classes for two hours in a day because most of the mornings are spent in the fields and the school is wheelchair friendly so don't worry about that all the buildings are wheelchair accessible and the classroom is made specifically for our kind of learning because the doors are wide 
the, which allows a teacher to bring in a cow if they want. We once had a teacher in first year bring in a whole banana plant into the classroom. We had the, the whole tree was in the classroom. That's how accessible it is. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the insides of the classroom. No, because of Rona, <laughs> we cannot currently show you. I can't, I don't have access to them because they've been locked uh, since the lockdown started. So yeah, um, there's like projectors, a whiteboard inside, about 30 desks and that's what's inside the class nothing major but i love that uh the way these buildings were made was that to allow for major ventilations in the class because it is quite hot in costa rica so they have these little crevices underneath the the walls it's not like a completely sealed wall there is a crevice underneath the wall where like air passes through windows white doors and fans just in case we can't handle the heat but that's academic block one it has two classrooms all the academic blocks have classes the other two academic blocks have four classes this one has the smallest amount of classes now let me take you to the laboratory de tejidos i have no idea how you say that in english but i think it's plant tissue laboratory something like that let's just go so the tejidos lab is actually the lab where if you didn't know earth university has a banana plantation we actually plant package and export bananas and the profits from this bananas like business also funds some of the students scholarships so some of the students are actually under a full earth university scholarship funded by earth university because of this banana uh, plantation we also have other business ventures where we produce fertilizers pallets uh, we produce yogurt, we produce drinks, we produce a whole bunch of products and also we have a souvenir shop here at the school. We also have tourists come in. All this money goes into funding the students that are under the scholarship with the school. So here is where a banana, let me teach you. A banana doesn't have a seed, okay? <laughs> so you actually have to take the plant, like the, the tissue of the banana, put it in a culture, let it grow and have roots and then after that transplant the plant to the field so this is where that happens okay welcome to laboratory de ciencias naturales i don't know if you can hear me can you hear me okay this is the natural sciences lab like i told you this is where we do plant pathology and entomology so we have the school scientific lab collection here and also we do weed management like how do you call that my lessons that's weeds right uh we do them in these labs there is an amazing insect collection inside this lab and as an aspiring entomologist it is my favorite lab i might be biased because <laughs> i'm in that field but yeah this is one of my favorite labs so i will tell you why this place is so important this is called posoguna which is like what's a poso in english water milk <laughs> I don't know what it's called but an interesting fact about my school is that we get all our water supplies from this so they have drilled down to a water source down there so the school extracts its own water filters its own water cleans its own water and then supplies the water to the school so we do not depend on the government for water so that's a very interesting thing there are three of these in the school one is by the cafeteria this is the, the first one one obviously one and the other one is by the cafeteria and then the other one is on the other side of the school and i feel like that's super interesting because we are responsible for our own water and it's just like i've not seen many institutions that do extract their own water clean their own water and then distribute their own water this is a 3000 hectare campus of course granted we don't use all that 3000 hectare for buildings and people living there but a majority of it is farms uh, but in the small places that we are like where people actually do live um we do have good water supply healthy water supply that goes through numerous testings throughout the year about 36 external examinations of the water and then we have about 50 or so internal like internal evaluations of the water in the water lab i will take you to the water soils and water lab but i feel so proud about that so introducing oh another reason why i'm super proud about of this specifically is because it's part of my work experience i do work with the uh environmental action office yeah environmental action office and this is um we are responsible for reporting making sure that everybody drinks clean water and it's been an amazing year working with this department and i love it so much so let's move on Uh, 
Still, you're so bougie, bright like Mona Lisa. Turn up a seven, and they all gon' be Okay, honey, so this is a special place for the university. As you can see, it's a time capsule. This is the first class of Earth University, meaning the first students to ever graduate from this institution. There were only... Each ball represents a name of a student. Right now, we have 400 students, 400 plus, but first class to ever graduate or first group of people in the school were just these guys. Welcome to the Soil Sciences and Waters Lab. This is where we learn chemistry, soils, we learn, no, chemistry and soils are the main courses that we learn here. But they do analyze water, like I explained from POSO 1, that water is analyzed in our university. Currently, I think the second year students that are taking chemistry are doing fer fermentation because um, there's a lot of distillation apparatus and uh, some fermentation that is currently taking place over there so i'm guessing that's the module they're in right now fermentation um it is a fun place to be because you get to play around with chemicals you get to be little scientists <laughs> i'm so sweaty but yeah that's luck you guys are so lucky that the guy here let us in so we need to say thank you to him thank you for letting us in and let's continue this tour You got me putting my feelings on display. Whoa. Put you in Fendi, Louis V. Bag, dripping in Gucci. What you make to follow that? Clean, clean, good and good and everything. I got you on this one, I'll never take the kid of it. Whoa, I'm trying to take you out like on a way. Treat you like a golly day. Hi, so we are in front of the library. I just showed you the library. So we have. The Kellogg's Complex Library, which was, I don't know why it was named after Kellogg's Complex, but I'm guessing it's one of the major players uh, in the construction of the building, I think. I'm not sure. We even have a quote from Kellogg's. But the building you see right behind me is Jose Zaglu building, the Jose Zaglu building. Um, Mr. Jose Zaglu was our first rector, rector school president. The above the d i don't know who that is he's the school president and he was the first one to be the school president for the majority of the school's lifespan from the beginning of when it was created until about 29 no not 29 to 25 years so now we have a new school rector rector and he came in once like in my first year so he's been with us for four years we will be his first graduating group so congratulations to you for leading us in this past four years and hopefully you will do a much more amazing jobs with the future generations of earth university so now that marks the end of academic block two let's go to the last piece of the school which is academic block three and then i'll take you to the cafeteria and we are done with the school Tour. I hope you guys are having fun so far. We're in the information technologies lab, so this is the place where we have our programming classes. Or so this is where we have. <laughs> Our position agriculture classes, programming classes, or topographic classes, any class that requires all the students to have laptops or uh, computers, but not everybody does have them. So the teachers try to make the like it, make it an even playground. So we all come here and have our classes here. Currently, because of the pandemic, we have one in, not in use, but it, it does work. It's just that so that nobody sits here, and then the next one will be like fun, and then the other one, so on and so forth. This is for social distancing. And if you are in this lab, you have to wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask because I'm filming this video. 
So, but you do have to have a mask when you're in here. And we have two of these labs. The other one is over there. It was more full that side. That's why I came to this one. But that's currently the IT lab. So My feelings on display. Whoa. Put you in Fendi. Louis V. Bag. Dripping in Gucci. What you make to follow that? So this is Lahama. This is where all the students come to buy their snacks. As you can see, if you are a true PG follower, you know that my favorite Lay's flavor in Costa Rica is the barbecue and my favorite milk to drink is the strawberry milk. So when students are tired of learning and we've been having these long days, we come here to have like simple fast food. So you could have like fried chips with chicken, you could have fried fish, like you know just like fast food, cakes, snacks, anything you actually want, including pencils, stationery and all that. So this is La Hama, uh, one of the students most favorite places to chill, especially now with quarantine and we had one of like aromas closed down so we only have La Hama. So yeah, this is our school talk show. Okay, welcome to Academic Block 3. I've been talking about Academic Block the whole day and we're finally here. Now for my Africans, Caribbeans, non-Spanish speaking people, this is your home. This is Programa de Español, the Spanish program office. So our Spanish teachers reside here. These are the people that will teach you how to speak Spanish, write Spanish, and communicate in Spanish. It's very important for you to assimilate yourself into the Spanish speaking nature because everything here is done in Spanish. Our exams are done in Spanish. Our learning is done in Spanish. Everything is done in Spanish. So they are very important for you guys. So this is your home. Basically, you'll be divided into groups and those groups will be like your classes. You'll be in the library, you'll be in some of the classes, but this is the main home of the teachers. So welcome to Spanish program. Let's go see something else in Academic Block 3. Get up. 